New Relic makes it easy to start improving your app's performance immediately. To navigate to the Transactions page, I can click on the Transactions tab located on the left of the page. I'm now looking at my Transactions page, which will give me a much more detailed view of performance measurements for individual transactions. There is a drop-down menu that allows me to sort the transactions in a variety of ways. Most time-consuming is the default sort for this list because it organizes the transactions by both the slowest and the most frequent. On the right, I can see an overview chart for my most time-consuming transactions. To view more details into an individual transaction, I can click on the transaction I'd like to see more information on. After clicking, I can see a rather familiar set of charts appear. I can see an overview chart for the time period I have selected with the various components of this transaction included. Right off the bat, I can see that the majority of the time for this transaction is being spent in a JSP, which is essentially a template used by my Java application. Below that, I can see the throughput for this particular transaction over my selected period of time. This might be helpful in determining whether there might be a correlation between increased requests and application performance. Below my throughput graph is the transactions breakdown table. This shows each of the segment's performance statistics for this transaction. As I can see, the JSP shown is accounting for 75.4% of the transaction time, so I'll want to investigate further why this is occurring. At the very bottom of my transaction drill down is a list of available transaction traces. Transaction traces are specific, individual executions of this transaction and provide a detailed view of where performance opportunities may lie. I'll click on one of these transaction traces to get a better breakdown of what's occurring with this transaction. One of the first things I notice when I click on a transaction trace is the Summary tab, which shows me the percentage of time spent in each particular component of this transaction. If I hover over a particular segment, I can see the percentage of time it took to execute. Scrolling down a bit further shows a summary table, which shows each component from slowest to fastest. For each component I get the name, count, which is the number of times the method was called, the duration, which is how long it took for this to complete. To get an even more detailed look into this transaction, I can click on the Trace Details tab at the top of this transaction trace. Here I can see a chronological, nested display of the method calls, database queries, and external services that took place over this transaction, and where potential opportunities for improving performance may lie. From left to right, there's a column for the duration in milliseconds, the duration percentage for each segment, the segment name, and the timestamp. To expand on each segment, I can click Expand Performance Problems. I can click the Collapse All button to collapse the segments into their parent method. I can also expand on a segment by clicking the chevron next to the segment name. As I scroll further down the transaction trace, I can see segments highlighted yellow that might be taking longer than expected, and red where a significant amount of time is being spent. I can see there appears to be a large amount of time being spent in my owner's list JSP. I can get more details about a particular segment by clicking on the microscope icon to the right of the segment name. Here I am provided a stack trace for this segment. Scanning further down into the segment, I can see that there's a red section called Application Code. This means I can't see what's happening here with the standard agent configuration, and some further custom instrumentation should be added to gain visibility into where the performance issue might be located. For now, this gives me a great reference point of where I should be looking within my code base to identify the potential problem.